Opiate drug overdoses have spiked in the last couple of years in Massachusetts and across the nation. All having to do with heroin and opiates, uh, much more than I've seen in 23 years. Ludlow Police Sergeant Daniel Velatas says that suburban communities have seen their fair share, with drugs fanning out from urban hubs. On a weekly basis, we have families that come here and, and they ask for district court help and they go to the judges and, and they, many times they get the, they at least get an interdiction where they can place somebody, you know, involuntarily and get some help, but there's just not a just, just not enough, enough resources. The Massachusetts Department of Public Health says heroin and prescription painkillers killed 1,089 people in 2014 and that the state is on track to exceed that number this year. Police say that over the past several years, narcotics officers have seen a changing landscape when it comes to the type of drugs that people are choosing and how they are obtaining them. And over the past couple of years, more community members are gaining understanding and helping with diverting the trend. I mean, when I started, there was a lot of uh, crack cocaine. We've seen a resurgence in that and heroin uh, addicts using crack cocaine. Police and firefighters are working to help take the drugs off the streets and treat those with addiction problems. But if you have a deadly mix of heroin and fentanyl and you have people that, you know, literally are getting arrested on one day and then the next day are buying from the same dealers that the narcotics officers and detectives and investigators are seeing, it's almost like a fatalistic approach. I mean, it's very difficult to interdict and stop that. Sergeant Velada said that's why awareness, drug drop-off programs, and community support are so crucial. I think if the town is aware of the problem, it's an easier for, way for them to deal with the problem and tackle it head on. Since 2000, opiates have killed over 9,000 people statewide, 637 in Hamden County, which include two in Ludlow. In Ludlow, David McKay, 22 News.